Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Open conversation. Whatever they want to talk about, whatever they want to say, whatever the cards bring out. That's what we'll be talking about. Let's jump in and let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Pisces this week. Guys, y'all know my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up the energy there. Ooh, Pisces person. Guys, I'm going to have them show us the energy between you, first person, and second person's energy with this deck. Just keep in mind that it's from their perspective. It's how they see things, not necessarily how you see things. Let's jump in. Let's see energy between us. Energy between us for my Pisces. Ooh, pop. We've got healing. I'm healing those parts of me I avoided for so long. Now, y'all know energy between us is one energy that they, from your person's perspective, they feel like you're both standing in that energy. Let's see first person's energy, please. First person energy. Pisces, first person. Oh, that one didn't want to let go of me for a minute. We got nostalgia. It's been hard not to think of what used to be. Mm. Nostalgia. First person's energy. Let's see second person's energy, please. Second person's energy. Second. Oh, pop. Restricted. I feel restricted and confined by my circumstances. There's one more that's come out with this one. Holding on. It hurts to let go, but sometimes it hurts more to hold on. So somebody is, you know, circumstances have got them feeling like their heart's caged in. Got somebody over here of what could have been in healing, healing. Ooh. Let's jump into the tarot. We're using a tarot ground lux. This is one of Ciro Marchetti's decks. Y'all know he's one of my favorite creators when it comes to tarot and oracle decks. This is from a Pisces person. Let's get on talking over here on this person with a nostalgia. Can't get off my mind what used to be. What could have been is what I'm hearing. Pop. We've got devil Capricorn restrictive energy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what else? Inner demons. Oh, somebody definitely had an issue with um, some kind of addiction. And y'all know it can represent drinking, um, things like that. Any kind of addiction that was getting in the way of the connection. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Anything else? Mm, come on. Talk to us. Ooh, somebody went quiet for a minute. Ooh, there was a lot of frustrations with trying to build this connection. And like I said, I'm feeling like it's been in the past. What else? It was self-restricted. Yeah, and... But we were wanting long-term legacy. Reputation also is being brought out with a Ten of Pentacles. What you think of me. Your legacy. Yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, reputation. So somebody definitely, there was a lot of frustration trying to nurture something. They wanted to invest time and energy, but they had a lot of inner demons that they were fighting. Because they felt trapped by that Capricorn Devil energy. Let's get them talking down the middle of the energy here on that healing energy between us. We'll pop. We've got magician. Magician card is about the energy and confidence to overcome something. Feeling a little bit stuck right now. Or we were stuck in the past. But there's a different perspective on things. Seeing things from a different perspective. Getting a different you know, way of thinking, believing. We've got our Empress showing up. Ooh, I like her. And y'all know she's a glow-up energy. She uh, brings life and abundance to everything that comes in her territory. Let's put it that way. Let's see what she's amplifying. What is being amplified by our Empress? A vision. A vision for the future. A mature vision for the future. Fire, Sagittarius, night. King of Cups is Scorpio energy. 
And then we got the emperor being motivated, uh, got more confidence in this, con in the vision of taking action towards a future. But there's a ruling factor. What's the ruling factor we're getting to on it? Sowing new seeds. Mm -hmm. This is the start of something tangible because of the past. We got the card of nostalgia in the past, the past history we've had together. Um, so yeah, trying to get past the past yo ow what else ow chariot card uh battle wagon Vic victory card but are we in sync with each other in the past we may have been pulled apart going in different directions not in sync with each other like i said this person over here was fighting some inner demons so yeah but the, a vision for the future is bringing in you know good thoughts a lot of passion, wanting to take some action uh, to bring us together instead of pulling us apart. But it's also amplifying uh, uncertainty and insecurities about it. Bottom of the deck, we've got a five of cups, regret and remorse, feeling disappointed and left behind. Let's pull up all the cards except the first one. Then we're going to move over to the second person's energy and let them talk there for a minute. Let's see what they're going to bring out on second person's energy. Yeah, let me get it shuffled up really good here. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Let's talk about this person over here. Circumstances making them feel confined. We've got judgment card, rebirth, resurrection card. Karma card. Won't, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of luck. It can bring in karma, good you know, good luck, bad luck, that kind of thing. Reap, reaping what we sowed because that is a harvest card. But it's also bringing in pattern. Wanting to redo. Wanting to go back and redo. Uh, we've got Aquarius. King of Swords energy, overthinking things, overthinking things, narrow-minded way of thinking when it comes to the connection and maybe also their personal circumstances. What else? Opportunity, they're standing in a yeah, They're trying to be optimistic. Three of Wands bring in, brings in optimism, but also at the same time, uh, it can bring in doubt about things uh, uncertainty about things is my ship coming in to me or is it leaving without me am i being left behind then we have the strength card trying to get a better understanding of things and getting to know each other so somebody definitely wants a, re a redo but they're overthinking things they they and you know our aquarius king will bring in communications wanting to open up communications and talk because this one is getting a better understanding of each other now instead of in the past from the past so yeah we definitely got somebody and ooh, five of coins on the bottom this is uh opportunities that we have sacrificed had to sacrifice in the past it also brings in the emotions of anxiety having anxiety what's up under it needless stress and worry so somebody is like stressing i'll write a passage to move away from the past yeah so somebody is definitely from both points of view in this connection we're both wanting to leave the past behind uh and overcome the challenges of things get to know each other now from this person's perspective oh the energy for my pisces let's get them talking guys let's come in on that devil card let's come in on the devil card Ooh. it's hard for me to have deep conversations it makes me uncomfortable i'm scared of losing what we have together mm-hmm what else? Reach out. Reach out to me. What else? What else? How much do I mean to you? Do I mean anything to you now? <clears throat> and we got two more standing here. I have never opened myself up to anyone like I have with you. And 
I said I was sorry. Can we at least be friends? Can we start out as friends? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm hearing. Let's move on to the center energy. Um, that energy card, the magician wanting to manifest, take some action towards it. Just listen. You don't have to say anything. Uh -huh. You're irresistible. Anything else? Uh -huh. I know you deserve better than what I have been giving you, what I had given you. Uh -huh. What else? My emotions are all over the place. Uh -huh. Was there anything else before we move on? Mm. I love you more than I love myself. Ooh. Let's get them over here on second person's energy. Let them talk over there for a minute. Things will change soon. What else? Ooh, we're getting two here. I feel so intimidated and I hope and wish that you notice me. Mm -hmm. What else? I don't know how much longer I can do this. What else? I'm in a constant battle with myself. Mm. Hold the energy on this deck. Let's rotate the message deck so I know which side to pull from next. And we'll go back to the tarot. Go back to the tarot. I'm wanting to come back over here and look at this person. Holding on. Trying to hold on to something. They're feeling extremely restrictive. Hmm. Because we definitely got someone from the past. Uh, coming back into the second person's life. Hmm. Okay, most important thing, most important thing that seems to be being pointed out over here is change. I've changed. I've overcome a lot uh, of the, that devil Capricorn energy. Over here, I'm also picking up because I don't know which one I'm talking to. They, I seem to be hearing both chiming in here, both sides of it chiming in here, is this person is in a situation, could be a toxic relationship since they last seen this person and they, are, they keep trying to hold on to it, needing out of it. Very toxic. I'm hearing very toxic. Okay. So important thing to know is this person having problems getting out of a situation. This person is uh, bringing in, I've changed. I've changed. I'm not like I was in the past. We need to get to know each other now, now, not and, and not judge each other from the past. Oh, okay. Anything else, Pisces person? Bring it out for us. Bring it out for us. Pop. Oh, we are in the young emperor energy. The young masculine, divine masculine Aries energy. Two of wands is standstill energy. We're evaluating and reevaluating things. What else? We've got King of Coins or Pentacles, Taurus energy, stability of something, and then more Earth energy popping in for my Pisces, that Virgo, uh, Knight of Coins energy. What this is telling me, we're at standstill right now. We're taking things slow. We're not trying to rush into anything with this connection. Circumstances for this person may prevent a rush in, but it's saying uh, that we're wanting to be practical, slow. I don't want to give up. Stubbornly persistent. I'm not willing to give up. And a slow build. A slow build with that Virgo Knight. Taking things slow and building something tangible and real between us. Was there anything else that needed to be brought out? Mm, Ten of Swords. Somebody is going through a bittersweet ending on that one. It's probably both of us because the connection was probably bittersweet. But I got a feeling second person's energy over here is also experiencing a Ten of Swords right now. Coming to a, a hard ending. Strategic thinking. And also uh, Seven of Swords bring, brings in um, opposition of disarming things. He's actually going to war, but he's going to war in a different way. He's sneaking in and stealing all the swords. So that, you know, he can't be hurt by something. It's strategic thinking, but also taking back what you feel like has been taken from you. Then we've got, ah, feeling defeated and disarmed. 
mm -hmm, feeling defeated and disarmed. We got a lot going on in the mental, emotional arena. And more than likely, I'm picking it up off of this person over here. Because I feel like they're going through present circumstances that are very, very unpleasant. And they are feeling defeated. They would like to take back what's been taken from them. And they're almost done. Almost done. Bottom of the deck, what do we got? We've got Pisces. You're on the bottom of the deck. Yes, you are. Our Knight of Cups energy. Feeling overwhelmed a little bit. But there are choices to be made to find that Heaven on Earth Bliss and Success card. Ow, battle weary, battle weary, the wounded warrior that's not willing to give up, not giving up yet, because change is happening, Scorpio, change is happening, and things just feel chaotic and confusing right now, mm. let's get on talking again, guys, let's come in on that young emperor, building up the confidence to move forward in this connection, to slowly build in this connection, patiently wait on this person over here with their circumstances. I feel so torn. I want to be more than friends. Mm -hmm. But if we need to start as friends, I'm hearing they'll start as friends. Baby, please don't treat me bad. Is it all in my head? I can't tell if it's real. Mm-hmm. Let's get them over to the center energy on that Taurus King, stubbornly not going to give up just yet. I know we have a real connection. That's the reason I can't give up. Mm -hmm. Why haven't you responded to me? Our love languages have been different, but I'm willing. I'm willing. Ooh, what else? What else? Anything else? Mm-hmm. I've changed. I've changed. Let's bring it over here onto that slow building Virgo night. Forever is not long enough. My love for you will never die. Mm -hmm. It's time to get real. It's time to get real about, about this. The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. I'm trying not to think about something like that. I want a new beginning. Is there anything else before we move on? Anything else? I see. Oh, yes. What flew out on us? I'm a complete mess. Just so you will know, Pisces. <laughs> oh. Guys, let's get them to focus in on the deck. They want to give you final messages from... This is from my Pisces. Mm, we're getting the roses, guys. Y'all know with the rose. What do I always say? To get to the beauty in life. You can expect to get scratched up, pricked, scraped up by the thorns. Respect the thorns, but the beauty's worth it. Yes, it is. Final message. Oh, pop. I would give anything if I could just hold you. I'm afraid to tell you. There is no one else that knows me the way you do. Let's just have some fun. Oh, stress. Let's remove some stress is what I'm hearing. I act like I don't care, but I really do. I feel like I have been missing you my whole life. Last one, guys. I was not looking for something like this. Oh, oh Pisces. Guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.